Hello, how's it going? Welcome to Loop Learning. This is the next video in the series. We are making clinic management system. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. In any case, if you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure that you do hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever I upload a new video. Right. So what are we going to do in this video? Well, we will be focused on refining this form, which we have made in the last video, which is all about visits, managing visits. And then we will be making two more pop-up forms to make the data entry or from the card operation for the prescriptions and the treatments okay so the idea is that first in this video in this video particularly i'll finish the skeleton bit so we'll finish the skeleton of everything and then in the next video we'll start having some vba code the other thing i will do in by coming to the next video we will i will change the font i really dislike this font for some reason um i don't know about you but I'm not liking it so i have to change the font not only the font on the forms or the reports but also in the vb editor so i need to fix these things before i come to the next video that i will do okay but meantime we will just fix this and make two more forms and then you know we should be okay for this video at least so let's right click and i need to convert some of the fields into combo box that's what i need to do and I need to change the font size also. Okay, so we'll make the font size 10. You see this Aptos. Aptos doesn't really look nice. It's not nicer on this particular uh, form, not this form, in, in this application particularly. But in Outlook, this looks really nice, the Aptos. Anyway, we will move on and we will uh, look at our customization that we intend to do in this video. So I'm going to make these two fields, visit ID and status, as non-editable fields. So uh, select both. I made the background color a little bit uh, light gray. We'll go to data tab, enabled no, locked yes. Okay, so that's done. Now I need to convert some of the text fields into the combo boxes. For example, first one is patient. So let's uh, select that and we'll right click on the on the text box and i get this menu from here i go to change to and i'm convert that to the combo box now i need to assign the data type a record source and sorry row source and i come here in the property sheet in the data tab and in the row source and i click on dot 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 from here i select the table that resides uh, the patient's information so i double click on that and then i get the patient's information so for example patient id first name and we need to have something that will differentiate or will be unique for each um, patient either we can have the patient id which will be unique for each patient or we can have the mobile number right so that will be unique for each patient so i think having a mobile number will be more user friendly so we'll have that and three columns will hide the first and second we'll keep the first column here okay all right, so we'll go to the format tab and uh, I'll change the column count to three. I want to see the first column I want to hide, second column I want to see, third column I want to see as well. So that's done. I'll change the height of this uh, combo box to 0.3. There we go. And now I'll scroll down. Yeah, margin is correct. Next, I want to change uh, the doctor, right? So doctor, I want to change that uh, to combo box. Also, I want to change the visit type. So before I go to the doctor ID, I'll change the visit type. Change to combo box. Now for this, I do not have a separate table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a value list rather. So I'll go to the property sheet or, and the data tab of this combo box and from here, from the row source type so let me zoom in a little bit from row source type i will choose rather than table or query i will change that to value list and in the row source i will click here and i'll click on dot 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 so we can type in the row source ourselves all right so in here we will type the you know what we want to have in there so for example we'll say appointment that's one of the type of the visit we intend to have and then i will say i want to have walk-in as well so we'll click ok 
now let me zoom out a little bit and why because i want to change the property okay i'll go back to zoom in again sorry for that okay so limit to list yes and allow value list edits no why we need to do it because with this what we can do is we can actually um, restrict the user to uh, change or amend this uh, drop down list okay so that's what will happen so I'll zoom out again and uh, we go back to format tab and now i will go to the uh, i'll look for height property and i'll change 2.3 and we'll scroll down and top margin is okay right so that's done next i want to change the doctor id and i want to convert it to the combo box and i want to go to the data tab here we do have a table and then i click on dot 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 and i go to links and i go to the patients oh no sorry doctor staff why do i choose patient i've already done that so staff id first name we get the staff first name and we get the type so instead of me getting the number i'll say staff type table i'll get that as well and i'll have staff type and i'll have active so i'll run the uh, query and i want to have active staff only visible in the list i don't want any uh, anyone who is inactive so i want to have active and i want to have doctor all right so let's go ahead and provide this as a criteria in the query so we'll go to the criteria staff type doctor and status active okay so that's done now you can see only one record and rightfully so right so now we have one two three four four columns and then i'll choose the type uh, i'll hide the type i'll hide the status and i'll hide the staff ID. i want to see only the name of the staff that's it so if you want to change it if you want to have staff type along with the name great please go ahead and do that anyway so four columns we want to hide the first one second one we want to see then we want to hide the remaining columns and i want to change the height to 0.3 and i have the margin okay that's good so instead of doctor id i will change the label to assign doctor all right then i will scroll down scroll to the left and i want to change the patient id to choose patient all right something like that and choose visit type okay oh, i got to have v here all right then visit date visit time okay for time i'm pretty much sure this is the uh, you know i want to have a a that calendar pop up i want to get rid of that you know the date picker so for show date picker and i'll say never for this field only date and also i want to have the input mask so people can provide the user can provide only the date in the format that i'm looking for okay so that's you know these are the things you if you will do it you know they say junk in junk out so you can avoid that happening if you will have these formatting done for your user and that's why i'm very picky about these things because i don't want any junk data to go in so we can then later struggle to run or create different type of reports that will definitely happen if there is no control over that all right so i'll move towards left a little bit we'll go to home tab 10 okay great all right we'll change the height all right okay so visit form uh, looking good now let's see the drop downs right fine fabulous okay great and the visit time so yeah this is what i was talking about okay i want to have a particular format that's very very important according to me now let's have two more pop-up forms skeleton created and that's the whole idea as i said we'll create a skeleton and then in the next video we will actually work on having code behind all of these forms and if you're still watching thank you very much keep watching and i'm sure this will be beneficial even you know for people who have already master creating form maybe you'll get a thing or two from this video maybe uh, but if you're new i'm sure you'll be getting a lot from this video so give a thumbs up if you're liking as well right so 
I need to have one proper form to capture the prescriptions information. I need to have one proper form to capture the treatment information. Okay, so let's go ahead and create those proper forms. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy a random form. All right, I'm going to paste it. Oops, not that. Patient, copy, paste, and I'm going to give a name to this form called prescription form prescription okay we'll hit enter we'll right click on this design view we get rid of all the fields and we'll change the record source or of this form to basically prescriptions and now we'll fetch all the fields from this table and we'll do the formatting a little bit so we'll stack them we'll go to the home tab we'll change to full black and i want 10 as font size and I will change the height of the text boxes to 0 0.3 and I will give a top margin 0 0.05. Okay, then I'm going to arrange and I'm going to go to narrow. Right, so let's make them bold and let me align that and let me extend that until here. Now, what I need to do is I need to do further formatting. So, for example, in here, I don't have these uh, complications. I will, however, change the master font of this uh, file so that font uh, is applicable to all the forms and whatever I have created until now. Because right now, by default, it is the uh, what do you call? It is the Aptos font. Okay. Okay. So that's done. We'll uh, change the height of this form to 0 0.3. All right. So we'll go here. We'll uh, data tab, enable no, locked yes. And go to the format and we'll change the background. Okay. So that's done. Now I want to increase the height of the notes form uh, to a little bit because, you know, it's notes. So it should be a little bigger for a little bigger field, I guess. All right, so we'll go to the format and all right, and later. We'll see later these buttons. We'll fi figure it out later on. Not figure out, fix it later on. Okay, so that's done. We'll go to the form and here we go. We have a little form to have the prescription information in there. Now we will create the same form for the treatment. So let me go to design view and I'll change the uh, caption of this form so create an edit prescription information okay and let me close that now we will have the form for the treatment so we'll uh, copy this prescription form we'll paste it and we'll have treatment treatment form okay so i'll right click on treatment form you know what i'll keep some of the fields because i know some of the fields are the same in the treatment form as well now what i'm going to do however is i'm going to get rid of these okay and i'm going to change it to treatment create an added treatment information change the data record source to treatments and now we can see here what exactly we need to change when you're modifying, make sure that you're modifying everywhere, not just in one place. Okay, not just assigning the data type, but also the other things. Go to data tab, treatment description. All right. And in here, treatment description. And we'll do it here as well. Now I am going to change the location of this field, and I'm going to make a little bit. Uh, the height same as this form. Oh, sorry, this uh, text boxes. So height is 0 0.56. Okay, let's change that. There we go. All right. So all right. Let's have full treatment. Let's have it. Let's have it like that. Okay. So that how I did it. Press shift and then enter so it will come down. 
All right, that's our data. Okay, now we will change the data to treatment dates. All right, there we go. Okay, so that's done. Oh, all right, awesome. So now we have the treatment form. We have a list box that will create a treatment. By the way, the treatment form, the idea for this is let's think logically. So this is my logical thinking. Maybe it's wrong. I'm thinking a doctor visits a, sorry, a patient visits a clinic. Doctors inspect, do the diagnosis. And as part of diagnosis, maybe doctor will recommend, hey, I need blood test, I need x-rays, et cetera, et cetera. So the doctor can actually write in what exactly is recommended as part of the treatment so as part of treatment first is diagnosis as part of diagnosis reports as part of treatment then after the reports then the treatment will be recommended that maybe you know three weeks of medication or two weeks of medication one week of medication two days of medication whatever it is and then the prescription that is linked to the uh, visit as well so all of this idea is that all of this information is captured and we can provide the information necessary okay so that's about it that's what i want to demonstrate in this video and i hope that you have learned thing or two from this video if you like whatever you have seen please smash the like button and um, subscribe if you haven't yet and make sure you press the bell icon as well so you get notification whenever i upload a new video thank you very much and i'll see you in the next one